two more track events to come in this morning session. The men's 100 metres T12, the opening semi-final in Bowles. The man you may have heard a little bit about from Cuba in lane three, Leonor Savon Pineda, defending champion in this event. There is the man there in lane three and just inside him in lane one, Hilton Langenhoven, who went through as one of the fastest qualifiers from yesterday's heats. Personal best of 11-1-2 for the man from South Africa, more known for his long jumping. Lino Seven Panita, 10.88, winning his heat, but he has a personal best and a championship record of 10.77 set in Doha two years ago in 2015. This man might get a cheer. Zachary Shaw of Great Britain, as you can hear there, the crowd right behind that man. Their home favourite, 11.16. He won his heat in 11.40, but he can go quicker, and he knows it. He'll go from lane five, and it's Juan Muna Martinez, bronze medalist at the European Championships last year, who goes from lane seven. So just the winner of this will go through automatically to the final and then after the two heats it'll be the two fastest qualifiers that man you saw on the inside Langenhoven was uh, one of the beneficiaries of being one of the fastest qualifiers from the heats yesterday but that man there didn't need to worry about his qualification time he finished in first position not far outside his championship record will it go this time Well, they seem to be just testing the uh, equipment down there to make sure it's actually working correctly. If you uh, were with us on day one, there were a few issues with the uh, the gun for some of the athletes not actually hearing it correctly. The second gun also proving to be a problem if there was a false start. So there's a bit of testing going on at the moment. And uh, I suppose, Vanessa, this really brings the nerves to the surface, doesn't it? Yeah, I think all those experienced athletes are going to benefit from this situation. Um, him crowd favourite, I'm um, sure, is um, probably going to be already very excited and now sitting around waiting on, waiting for, for things to start. It's probably going to be really nerve-wracking. Well, they're happy, as you can see. So the athletes are now being called forward to their marks. favourite from Cuba gets himself organised in lane three. Right. And this Savon Fernanda who gets away very quickly indeed. And on the outside it's Muno Martinez who also got a decent start but it's Langenhoven on the inside. But it's on the outside there it's the Spaniard Muno Martinez they're going through in first place, 10.84, so he improved on his winning time in the heat. Didn't get to his championship record by seven one hundredths of a second. He's outside of that, but it was a comfortable enough victory for Linear Savon Pineda. There it is, 10.83. Really easy indeed in the end. He got away to a very quick start indeed. And after the first 15 or 20 metres, there was no doubting as to who was going to win this race. That man there going through in second will be looking to get one of the fastest qualifying positions Juan Luna Martinez but this race was all about look at that there from Savon Pineda he comes up a little bit quickly but he certainly got into his stride Langenhoven on the inside there put together a decent middle 30 meters but he couldn't just hold on but Savon Pineda certainly an outstanding performance yeah, there are certainly different starting strategies and um, he's one of these um, like getting up quite fast and get in the proper running position fastly. Um, so he's benefiting in the in the, big, in the longer part of the race. Um, he's not the quickest starter but sets himself up very well for the for the for the back end of the race. Well, there is a fluent style heading straight towards the camera and straight towards winning time in this semi-final and he'll be featuring in the men's 100 meters t12 final winner of his heat 
winner of his semi-final, defending champion over the one and two. Confirmation then, 10.83 for Lenia Savon Pineda of Cuba. A personal best for Juan Muna Martinez in second position and a season best for the long jump gold medalist from last year, Hilton Langenhoven. Round four of the men's discus after.